Hey, it's Lee with WPLauncher.com, and I'm really excited about this video. I am going to show you how to use the Create Portal uh, functionality uh, straight from React. And if you look at React's documentation, it says a portal provides a first-class way to render children into a DOM node that exists outside the DOM hierarchy of the parent component. And so in the case that I'm showing you, this becomes really important when you're working in the Gutenberg editor because when you add a block, you're kind of, your block is added within this canvas of the Gutenberg editor within the hierarchy of it. Um, but the block I'm building, I want to add a modal uh, block so that anybody can easily add as many modals to their WordPress site as they want. And the problem you run into with adding modals is they the modal container cannot be located within the hierarchy of the page. So let me show you really quick what I'm talking about. This button right here will trigger a modal. And I've got some modal options over here in the inspector. And the problem is when I, I add this component without using a React portal, uh, the modal will load within the confines of this block. There's not really a, an easy way to take the modal container and append it to the body of the page. Well, that's what these portals do. And you can surface a React uh, create portal function through uh, the WordPress object that is passed. So the first thing you need to do here, let me show you really quick what I'm talking about. If, if I click preview modal and I've built a modal block and I'm inserting the container, the modal container in this block, okay? So if I click preview modal, uh, I have got my backdrop here, which shows because I'm using bootstrap, but uh, that it doesn't matter, I'm gonna get rid of that. But notice here how the modal is rendered within that block because it's rendered within the hierarchy of the page, uh, of where that block is in the page. But we need to create a portal to the document body and it's actually really easy to do. Uh, the way I figured out how to do it is looking at the Gutenberg documentation for their modal component um, because they, they actually use a modal component for their keyboard shortcuts. And we're, we could use this, um, but the only problem is we also need to use it on the front end too. And so it gets a little tricky. So the easiest implementation is to um, do this ourselves. Okay, so how do we do this? Okay, in when you're in queuing your scripts for your custom block, you need to make sure to, uh, in the dependencies section here, enqueue the WP element dependencies. And I've got the object down here and I'll show you what this pulls in. Um, it pulls all of this stuff in here. And here we've got this element and within this element dependency that's passed down, we have the create portal functionality. And if you check out the documentation for portals in React, it tells you exactly how to use this. This is actually like, like this, what we're using is React within Gutenberg. So we can refer to the documentation when we're using this stuff. And all you do is in the render function, you use this create portal function and return the children you want rendered, okay? And then the DOM node you want them rendered in. And so I moved, if we, head on over to my modal here. I've got my modal uh, HTML. Now let me make this a little bigger here. Okay, and right now I, I moved everything into a component called modal, modal portal. <laughs> and um, below I have my modal class that contains my modal portal. So I basically took everything 
out of this modal um, container and put it into a new component called modal portal because we need to use this create portal. Okay, so I've got a separate component that I've created here. And again, we just follow this documentation. So return and we pull in from this WP element object, the create portal function, okay? So now we can use this create portal. We don't need to write React DOM or anything because we're just accessing, again, we're accessing the function um, right out of this element object, okay? And so I'm gonna go to my modal portal here and in the render function, and let's pull this documentation up, where we return it, we just wrap this in a create portal function, okay? And we have our children here, this fragment um, that contains my modal container and the links to my modal. And at the very end of this, we're just gonna add a comma. And the DOM node I wanna attach this to, to is document body. And I'm just gonna use uh, regular old JavaScript here. Uh, so we wanna attach the modal container to the body instead of uh, you know, in this place in the block. We wanna, we wanna uh, create a portal from this block to you know, outs a place outside of the page hierarchy and that place is the document body. Okay, and that's it, that's all we need to do. So if I hit save, and again, check this out. Um, look, it's not working. I'm gonna refresh the page here. And let's insert this again. And if I click preview modal, now, instead of it appending it to that block, it's appending it to the document body. And here is that same HTML that we see here. Um, we've got our modal container. And within that, we've got uh, our modal header, modal content, modal body, modal content, modal header, modal body, and now this thing functions properly, okay? Within the Gutenberg editor. So, it's really easy way. I, uh, if you have any questions, please leave it in the comments. But it's a really easy way to, to take a block or a component and attach it somewhere else within the hierarchy of your page. So it's not limited to um, the place this component is added in your custom blocks. Well, if you're a theme creator or developer, you need to check out wplauncher.com. We make it really easy to earn recurring revenue uh, from your themes. So check it out.